Hello, and welcome back to Sorrel. We're playing as the Green Skin Tribes, and we're going to be playing as a Shaman. Uh, I don't have any of the DLCs, so uh, yeah, we're going to play as a Shaman, watch if, and then we're back as the Shaman for Challenge Level 7. And that's because I want to uh, see how well I do Challenge Level 5 for this playthrough. Let's begin. Okay, let's see. So I'll take some of the bolt throwers, then I'll take the trolls. Nice, there we go. It's a very nice army. So right off the bat, I can see that I want to go over here, so that means that I will have to, you know, uh, go through here, up, down, up, down, up, down, and then, yeah, get over there to my camp, just before the boss fight. Right then, uh, so as you can see, uh, it's nothing too terrible. Right off the bat, they just have some Imperial Archers that we can probably run down with our trolls. Then we have the Shaman over here, but she has, uh, what is it, uh, yeah, there we go, Primal Fury. That's what I was looking for. So yeah, the Orc Lord gets uh, plus one power to all uh, units in his army and yeah uh, the shaman gets to uh, just give primal fury to whoever he wants to which just allows them to get plus one power so it's uh, very similar but i feel like the orc lord is stronger because you can have three units in a fight on one turn and you can give them all plus one power meanwhile uh, the shaman even though he can use his ability more times i guess in a battle unfortunately he can't exactly um yeah, he can't give it to three units because it has a limit of only two uses. So yeah, long term, the Shaman is better. Short term, the Orc Lord is better. Which is why I've been grinding out with the Orc Lord. Because kind of more consistent for boss battles. When you have the ability to, you know, just instantly throw out, um, you know, uh, Orc Rage or whatever it is that that ability is called. And everyone just gets plus one power. Very strong. Yeah, it changes the game quite a bit. And this is a bit awkward for me. So I know that the archers basically what charge me, so I can basically charge them without any problems. Then they continue firing on this guy over here. Because, yeah, Imperial Swords, they are saving quite a bit. Uh, yeah, that's another problem with this uh, Orc Shaman, or well, Goblin Shaman, is that they start in a unit of Goblin Arrows, and they're just not really good. Especially when you haven't even upgraded them once. So we're really quite far behind in terms of any sort of, like, battle skill abilities anything like that so it really does feel kind of lackluster i'm not gonna lie i could probably use the ability on the uh, goblin bows but if i use the ability on the goblin bows then basically what have the ability to use it on the trolls which is what i've been doing with the orc lord i've been kind of getting like uh orc bob riders and stuff like that and i've just been uh, giving them these abilities and yeah it's just been kind of really helpful uh, as the Orc Lord, just uh, kind of routing enemies off really quickly because you get a bunch of hits off with the Orcs. Like all the Orc units, they have a bunch of uh, attacks, they have a bunch of uh, wounds, uh, especially like the Trolls, three wounds. So yeah, very strong. Plus you can get them um, some more wounds as well. And yeah, the enemies came back from a route. That's, uh, yeah, that's the difficulty of this sort of, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I guess a challenge challenge level 5 it's the difficulty over here is that the enemies will come back after routing and it's just, there's just yeah nothing you can really do and that's why it's so difficult I've, I've already had quite a few difficulties playing on you know, lower difficulties and um, trying to uh, destroy the enemies I've already had those sort of problems so now to see them happening again is not really that surprising for me because yeah, I, I did have problems um, routing enemies in the past because the uh, yeah the entire faction relies heavily on just getting lucky with your rolls. Because if you mess up, because, yeah, you have low skill, but you have high power. So if you hit an enemy, the attack is most definitely, uh, well, has a high chance of going through. And if it doesn't go through, you're just kind of screwed. Because, yeah, there's just no way that these goblins, yeah, they got lucky this time. But most of the time, if they don't route an enemy from a side charge immediately, they're just going to get out damaged. And then, yeah, it just won't go well for you. Let's see what they do, the enemy specifically. Uh, fire on the wolf riders. Try to get rid of some of them. Um, of course they save. Why wouldn't they? Uh, yeah, just something scary to deal with, I guess. And then miss that. I guess I'm going to have to move these guys up. Not preferable. Maybe I can use the arrows to hopefully deal some damage. I mean, it's just really uh, not looking good for me all around. Maybe the only way for me to play this entire faction is with the orc lord. Because at least then he can kind of carry the battle somewhat. But yeah, it's just uh, not, not looking good for me. As I've told already, I've had a bunch of troubles with even the Orc Lord, uh, where, you know, 
a few unlucky vols and the entire army falls apart. Because, as I've said, it's being held together by the ability to uh, deal a lot of damage if you hit the enemy. Which isn't that good to be gambling with your attacks on the enemies. And yeah, the chances of actually winning are very slim. If you start missing your hits, which is happens quite often, especially in Act 1, where you don't have any sort of like upgrades to a skill and you don't have that many attacks to be you know betting on going through so yeah it's very awkward to just kind of lose the game just because you got a few bad rolls just really really awkward but it does happen and there's really nothing I can do about it just why it is what it is and that's it really there, there is no other way around it do something like this move the trolls to the side they can attack these guys I guess and we'll have to see how well this goes for us Hope, but hopefully we can uh, win. Oh, those guys over there came back as well. So this is what I mean. Uh, challenge level 5 is very difficult. And uh, yeah, a few bad rolls. And a few good rolls on the enemy's part. And you're just losing. Let's give myself some primal fury. In the hopes that we can actually get some hits off. But I, I don't have much hope. Yeah, oh my. Just barely in the game somehow. That was a very lucky roll. Definitely can't say that about all my rolls. Because some of my rolls have been absolutely awful. Where I've just lost massively. There was nothing I could do. So yeah, let's try to get rid of these wolf riders. Let's hope they fail these two saves. Nice, there we go. That was very lucky. They could have just gotten a 6 and that would have been pretty much it for that uh, unit of bolt throwers. They would have just routed. And yep, there we go. That's, I guess, what I was afraid of. They're still in the battle. But, you know, we're taking unnecessary damage and that means we won't be able to take money next turn. And if I feel like if I had, a, you know, the Orc Lord over here... And he would have just simply, you know, if he would have simply just succeeded a few rolls, I feel like then I wouldn't be having any of these problems. Because the Orc Lord is, for sure, really strong. Comes in a unit of Orc Warriors. And yeah, he just doesn't have the same problems as these, you know, Goblin units. Yeah, the Goblin units overall are just kind of bad. Which kind of leaves you, uh, or well, forces you to use other units rather than the Goblin units. Like, w whenever I played as the Orc Lord, in the lower difficulties, I'd never even thought about buying a goblin unit. I'd rather buy a bolt thrower than a, just a goblin unit. But I guess bolt throwers are goblin units, but I consider them more or less siege engines. Siege en engines wouldn't really consider them goblin units. So yeah, we won this battle, but at what cost? I feel like the cost is too high, for my personal liking. We lost an entire unit of goblins, you know. Just wasn't good. Well, this has been very difficult. I. Yeah, n nothing much to say there, other than that was difficult, and it just kind of falls in line with the entire faction of, you either hit hard, or you go home. It's really unfortunate. Then the uh, ranged attacks. I don't know, is it better to get ranged attacks, or is it better to try and, uh, you know, um, what what's the word? Try and equal out, or make your D3 rolls more average, I guess. I usually take those interchangeably. You know, I don't really care which one I get. Usually they try to average out the D3 rolls, but it, it doesn't really matter that much. Cause out roughly about the same, so I'm not too bothered about that. Now shooting their archers to make sure that we can get rid of them really early on. Luckily they moved and they didn't attack us, so that was very nice. Because yeah, they could have most definitely tried to attack us and that would have been really awkward for us. And uh, there we go, we can charge those guys in the side next turn. And then maybe I should pop the, uh, yeah, maybe I should pop this on my guy. See how well it does against the archers. I mean, I don't have high hopes for this. And yeah, there they go. So yeah, not, not high hopes. So it's probably better to save it for melee. I'm going to try to get a Nork unit as soon as possible. Not like the goblins. So something that can actually deal in melee. Or maybe just another unit of trolls. Because trolls get quite strong towards uh, the end game. And yeah. I just yeah can't imagine how this army would do in Act 3. Or challenge difficulty at 7. I just have no idea how that would work. We, we'd probably fail almost immediately. Like, uh, yeah, I, I just can't imagine that. Prime of Fury. And uh, continue just throwing out attacks on these archers. I mean, if we deal enough damage then after these Imperial Swords vault, the enemy should just crumble. But again, we'll have to see. Uh, nothing's really guaranteed. Uh, yep, there we go. Let's uh, see our rolls for the uh, trolls. They should do quite well. Yep, there they go. That's what I mean. Trolls are really nice. Three wounds, three attacks. And then you can really stack quite a lot on that. Can stack additional skills that are more likely to hit the enemies, which is really nice. 
Trolls in general are just a really good unit. They're a lot better than Giants as well, so if you get an option between Trolls and Giants, pick a Trolls. This is where I wish I didn't waste that Fury on testing out the ranged capabilities. If I didn't waste the Fury there, I could probably use it on the Trolls right here. That would uh, make it slightly easier to get rid of the Imperial Swords. But, um, you know, here we are. It's a bit late for that. And uh, yeah, whatever. Let's see how the Trolls do. Let's hope that they don't fail. Because that's also a possibility and nice to get 6. And that's GG. Because the final enemy unit routed. And that means that we get to move on to the next battle. Oh well, I guess it's a shop in this case. And then uh, there's a battle after the shop, so yeah. And uh, yep, let's take post battle loot. I don't really want to get my lord into melee, so I'm going to avoid that. Move on on ones, I don't know how useful that would be. And yep, take uh, more money so that we can afford something nice. Come on, let's get something nice. And we got bore riders. Yep, there we go. Hex of Ruin, very nice. And uh, thousands of mouth. Okay, that's interesting. It's a goblin unique spell, I'm pretty sure. Can I get that? Or should I get a crest standard? I'm pretty sure I should upgrade some of my other units. Yeah. A defense for the ball riders is very nice. Going to battle. So let's uh, put these bolt throwers on the sides. I really want to know how this would work. So let's have this, so then the enemies can't just uh, charge into us one by one. And unfortunately, they are spawn on the other side. Great. Yep, great. Yeah, why not? Um, I really don't have anything else to say over here. Just got a bit unlucky with the spawns. So here we are, I guess. Maybe I can move this guy to attack them in the side. So this is where having the Orc Lord would be really nice. Because, you know, I could charge these guys in. Oh, well, if I moved slightly further up, I could have charged them. Could have charged those guys and then could have just activated the all the units get plus one power. That would have been really nice. So yeah, and then let's uh, shoot these spears. That's seven attacks coming through. And they saved it all. Ooh, okay. It was three plus saves as well, so the fact that it didn't get anything through was kind of unfortunate. So yeah, to be expected, I guess. At least the V-Walls came in handy on the actual archer unit. But, you know, kind of unfortunate, I guess. And they're shooting the bolt thrower. It's perfectly fine. That's why the bolt thrower is there. It's just there to get shot up. And, uh, yep, that is exactly what it did. So yeah, I'm going to move these guys up so then they can charge into the side of the handgunners. Obviously. Yeah, I could probably charge myself to the handgunners and they can't really do anything about it because I'm closer to the handgunners than I am to the cavalry. So they're going to have to concede that to me. Maybe I can hopefully surround the Imperial Spears after that. We'll have to see. But yeah, these light like, cavalry are no jokes. So. Oops, looks like I can't actually do anything there. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame. I thought I could have counter charged or something like that. But yeah. I don't think that really does anything. Oh, it gives me charge bonus. So yeah, a bit of a shame I didn't get that off. But we still have a uh, 4 power. Yeah, that's very nice. It's okay, I guess. And then uh, Hex of Ruin. Should I do that? Should I give them power? I feel like Hex of Ruin would be better. Make them saves on only 6. Yeah, very powerful. And uh, throwing attacks on the handgunners, because they're going to be the ones that are going to be shooting at me right next. After all these, uh, after all these peers arrive over here. So yeah, just something like this, continue shooting the handgunners. And we're doing quite well at get deleting the handgunners, from range especially. So very good. Getting quite lucky. And they missed all their hits. It's perfectly fine by me. Maybe I can get through? No, I can't. I can do something like this, hopefully. So I can charge in? No, I can't. Okay, let's go for something else. Let's charge in on in the side over here, like this. Yep, there we go, that works. Nice. So it didn't work as an issue plan, but that's fine. So I guess I want to talk about right now is uh, uh, the new game from uh, Ubisoft. And it's Star Wars Outlaws, I think is the name. Something like that. And the game has a really interesting price, price tag. So yeah, uh, you either pay like £70 to get the game on release. You pay 100 and the £30 for a deluxe version, which I find to be kind of uh, ridiculous. Or, instead of getting the deluxe version, you pay, uh, I think it's £18 a month. And, yeah, you get the Ubisoft Plus subs subscription that basically allows you to, uh, yeah, it allows you to uh, play the game, but only for a month as long as you're subscribed. And the whole point of that is that it's very predatory because if you think, if you count the money, it's uh, cheaper for you to buy the game for £130 than it is for you to, uh, you know, pay the subscription for an entire year. So that's what they're really hoping on. That you're just going to either forget about the subscription or you're going to only use the subscription. And in the long term, you're just going to end up giving them more, far more money than you would have if you just, you know, bought it once. 
See, it's it's really predatory, and I don't really like that all too much from Ubisoft. You know, it's uh, very greedy on their part. Some people might say that's expected of Ubisoft, but like, I I don't really think it is really expected of Ubisoft. You know, you kind of expect a company to be, uh, you know, at least somewhat consumer friendly. Meanwhile, Ubisoft is completely the opposite. They just don't care about the consumer whatsoever. So yeah, it's uh, somewhat debatable, I guess, on what people think is consumer friendly and what they don't think is consumer friendly. So yep, give these guys some primal or oh, fury or whatever it is. Yeah, skip that because there's nothing really I can do. I just have to kind of sit here and deal damage to the enemies. And then that's yeah, that, that was a draw. I'm kind of surprised by that. And ooh, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. One bad roll and. There you are, just running away. It's really unfortunate. At least we can kind of get in here and help these, uh, yeah, help the bolt throwers from being charged. A bit unfortunate still. We have to continue doing that and then they route as well. It's very nice. Let's see if we come back. Yes, we do, just barely. That was very lucky on our part. Could have still been routing and then I obviously have to continue bolt throwing these guys down. It was a lot simpler in difficulty 4, where you could just, you know, uh, or well, challenge level 4, where you could just, uh, you know, uh, let them route off the map. And that was it. And yeah, taking necessary damage over there. I don't think we're ready for a boss fight just yet, so. And that's it. GG. Yeah, I might skip the boss fight. Because we took a lot of damage here. And I don't even want to imagine what a boss fight would be like. It's too dangerous. So yeah. And additional, um, I guess, model back. Then continue here. Then go around. Go around the top. Avoid the boss fight. So yeah, we're in an ordinary battle right now because I decided to avoid the boss fight after that previous performance. I wasn't all that confident in us being able to actually deal with the enemies. So no boss fights until I'm sure we can actually win. And look, even this ordinary fight is kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie, it's uh, yeah, the enemies definitely don't joke around. And let's see, shall I hex him? I think I will. And then fire arrows on top. See how well I can do. Unfortunately, the rerolls didn't really do anything. Uh, there we go. That's a lot of units that's just gone there. It's very useful. I feel like hexing the enemies does a lot more for me than just, you know, than just uh, giving myself plus one fury or whatever. Magical spell. Better keep that for melee units only. That's very useful. On this side, I might just uh, try to cut the enemies. We'll see how this goes, I guess. I really don't want to be moving into melee right now. Skip charges, yeah. Because, uh, really, there's no reason for me to move into melee. Uh, Hex of Ruin ability, I guess. Yeah, ruin these guys because quite scary. Use this. There we go. That's very nice. Revolving ones, and I think they only got one reroll. Nice. There we go. And then they route. Then then we can retreat back. And then they can slowly continue coming after us. I don't really care. Yeah, can't really reach those guys, but so I just shoot the orc warriors over here. Perfectly fine by me. I don't think they're in range yet, so I'm just gonna try to kite them a bit more. Uh, so there's no point in really moving in all too much if I don't believe they're in range. Do this, do this, just slightly move out of range. Yeah, maybe even try to get a charge off. No, won't be getting a charge off, but I can continue kiting them. Perfectly fine. Do something like this, I guess. No, that's, that'll destroy my movement. Okay, whatever. Forget about the movement. Yeah, no charges. Yeah, can, this guy continues kiting them. Uh, these guys still out of range. Really turn around. And I haven't got any more hexes, I guess. It's kind of whatever at this point. Seven attacks coming in. And a lot of them went through. It's very nice. It was, it was three plus saves for the enemies and they failed a lot, a lot of those. So yeah, I could probably move closer slightly. But oh well. That was very nice. Got rid of an entire row. Like, uh, yep. That was very nice. Then uh, Let's get rid of a few more units, I guess. And let's do this. Then yep, nice. There we go. Ooh, that's, yeah, a bit awkward. But at least I can uh, continue kiting this guy over here. And even though I can't exactly charge in, it's I think it's fine to kite him. It's kind of whatever. It's not like I'm going to be able to uh, really do anything over here. Oh no. Fortunately not. Can't charge the, you know, orc warriors in the side. I guess I'm going to have to continue trying to find angles on the enemies. Uh, done. Can't really do anything there. Move this guy up slightly to hopefully get a side charge in. And, uh, yep. Use this on this guy over here. Seven attacks going through again. I got rid of enough. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, the orc boots are definitely the scarier uh, units on the field right now. So... Yeah, getting rid of a few orc boots is definitely worthwhile, in my opinion. Uh, this guy continues to, well, try to charge us, I guess, in the side, and I'm not really going to let him do that, because then we'll almost immediately rout. So yeah, that's not something that I want to do. I mean, I'm not I'm not too in the know about how to best deal with these 
orc warriors. I'm not gonna lie. And there goes my, you know, uh, yep. There goes my ballista or oh, bolt thrower. That's really unfortunate. Side charge, front charge. Yep. I'm hoping for the best in terms of these attacks, but we'll have to see. Especially, yeah. Uh, especially with the you know, unknown factors, I guess. Do this primal fury. They're still trying to attack us on the side over here. Can hopefully move around, maybe get a side charge. Yep, there we go, finally. Finally, that took a while to get. But we have there, finally. You know, finally with the ability to attack them in the side. Uh, nice, we got rid of them all. Then maybe we can get a side charge in over here. I can attack from the front. Let's hope for this to go well. Hoping, hoping for the best. We'll have to see. Yep, let's do this. They're almost routing as well, so we just need to you know, deal a few more damage to the enemies and then we'll hopefully route them. So there we go, these guys are routing. Now the other guys need to route. And yep, there they go, they're routing. Nice. Very nice. Ooh, it was way too close. I'm really having to put all my knowledge to the test here. Kiting enemies mid-battle, you know, choosing which units to kite with, which units to kite, you know, it's very difficult, that's for sure. Increased attacks, that's very nice. Although I'd really like skill at some point. But yeah, um, you know, reroll wounds, uh, yeah. Just pick anything and everything, I guess. Because we really do need everything that we can possibly get. That's a random event. Look who we don't need to go for an elite fight. I guess, but, uh, yeah, nothing else. Oh no, oh damn it, I skipped through that. Oops, I was like, yeah, I clicked the wrong button. Yeah, that did happen. Let's uh, let's not talk about it. Oh no, that was something that happened. Yep, shoot these Imperial at Cavalry. That was very lucky that we got rid of one and pale that cavalry from this range. Try to get another. Ooh, how many can we get, I wonder? We got all of them. It's very nice. That's actually very, very nice. So yeah, that's what I mean. That Yeah, it's very, very luck dependent. So yeah, there you go. Hopefully we can charge them in the side and they can't do the same to us. We'll have to see. Use the, yeah, special ability, you know, magical spells and stuff like that. Everything that you can. And then what else have I got to talk about? I got to talk about Skull and Bones. That's uh, another game. There was Quadruple A released. And yeah, it's quite popular still, you know? It's still not shut down because it still has players. Very surprising, not gonna lie. Pretty sure most people weren't even aware that it's still around. Because it's kind of very niche. And also kind of surprised as well, as everyone else is. It's still around and it still has quite an active player base. So yeah, I guess that there are players for almost any game out there. So yeah, you kind of have to, I guess you just kind of have to be in the community and that's how you find out that it's still around. But yeah, I found out because uh, I watched a video talking about it and yeah, it's kind of surprising that after what has happened, it's still, yeah, it's still around. Very, very surprising, you know, especially all the controversies with the game and how it came out and, you know, yeah, it's just, it's quite good, I guess, because, uh, mm. Even yeah, even though it's not doing as well as it probably would have liked for a quadruple A game, it's uh, better to be online and uh, you know, people to have their jobs on the live service game than for it to go offline, and for people to lose their jobs. Yeah, uh, definitely quite good that it's still, you know, up and running, you know, chugging along slowly. Not the biggest hit, but it's still over there, and it's still loved by the few people that play it. But still. Yeah, it, it is a bit ridiculous that they, they call themselves a could you play game. That's something that I would have expected out of Rockstar with the quality of games that they make. But Skull and Bones to be called a could you play game was a bit much, in my opinion. And then the gameplay came out for the game and yeah, it definitely wasn't could you play, but you know, I guess that there are no real laws on what can and cannot be could you play. You know, there are no laws, Batman. There are no laws. So yeah, um, give these guys Primal Fury. We'll see how well that does. You know, it's uh, it's kind of whatever. You know, help helps a bit, but sometimes you just need to get rid of armor because if they have like, yeah, like if you get deep guard or something like that, and they have like five armor, you just you're not really getting through that. Good luck getting through that. I mean, it's just not going well for you. It's getting rid of armor is sometimes better than just letting your unit reroll attacks and stuff like that because yeah, reroll attacks can only go so far. Sometimes you really do need to deal damage. So yep, yeah, let's see. These guys are going to route. And nope, they're still in. Just barely. It's very lucky. The enemy's got quite unlucky. Because they got a... Yeah. 
They got spears, but because they charged, they only got the front two rows of attacks from the spears. So very lucky for us. Very nice for me. And yeah, just look going quite well, not going to lie. And move these guys up to hopefully deal with the enemies. I guess get rid of these guys' defense is better for me, because yeah, I got more attacks than anything else. We'll have to see how this goes. I'm all out of the Primal Fury thing. So yep, yeah. and did quite well, not going to lie. Definitely quite happy about it. And, ooh, we got quite lucky there. That was very unlucky for the enemies. And very lucky for us. Pretty sure we take it. Yeah, we take money here. Because we got replenishment and, well, first shop and then replenishment. So yeah, and wounds, nice. Whatever. And then, uh, let's see, increase unit size. I guess unit size and then money, money, money. Money, money. There we go. Shop and then replenishment and then we can go for the boss fight. So yeah, trolls, more trolls. That's it, we're broke. We've got a tent to relax. And after relaxing, we can hopefully go and do the boss fight. And we can win. But you never know. You can never come across anything. And then that will result in you losing. Okay, let's see what we have here. So they've got a giant. they got some uh, ball riders on the side. So, really? Um, I mean, I'm going to try to route these orc brutes. And then going to try to shoot the giant. So we'll have to see how this goes. There's the giant moving up. Let's see if we can deal some damage to the guy. Not going as well as I would have hoped. But he is a giant, so it's to be expected somewhat. That the giant is obviously going to be a bit more difficult to deal with. But okay, whatever. So yeah, move up slightly. He's still hitting on 5 pluses only. A bit unfortunate. I would have hoped for slightly better rolls, but here we are. I guess it could be worse. I'm not going to use anything else. I could probably use magic, couldn't I have the spider thing? Yeah, whatever. Look, um, yeah, unfortunately, I'm not probably going to be in a charge phase anytime soon. Because... Yeah, I really want to get some char side charges in, rather than just, just an ordinary frontal charges. Frontal charges do, don't do it for us. So. Yeah, I'm going to be very picky about what I charge and where I charge and why I charge, so that's how I'm going to do it. So let's try to get rid of some of these ball riders. They've got two gone. It's very nice. It's a giant coming up. Let's shoot the giant. Try to deal some damage to the giant and it didn't work. There's the enemy, you know, cavalry. The ball riders coming up. Can I charge them in the side? I wonder. Yep, that's a uh, side charging on the ball riders. We'll have to see if they can or cannot charge us. Attack these guys, four pluses hitting. They're good, nice, very nice. Then uh, we can uh, use the magic spell now as well. Then uh, I hope for the best. Then it's only four, it's a bit unfortunate. But we do get two, two, yeah, models down. It's very nice. It's slowly working f in our favor. And these guys, they've got five defense. That's very scary. Definitely something that I might want to deal with to maybe lower their defense or something like that because yeah it's quite good right now uh, the enemies don't have that much range so technically they're just kind of going after us right now i'm perfectly fine with that intercept the ball riders gonna be a bit more difficult dealing with a giant next turn because yeah he's going to be charging us in the back of the uh yeah trolls it'll be very interesting how we deal with that let's hope these go through and only one goes through a bit unfortunate a bit unfortunate that's for sure let's see you know we cannot get any hits off over there unfortunate that's for sure but i'm sure we can find a workaround or something like that yeah maybe i'll shoot these goblins i guess yeah shoot the goblins nothing really else to do over there obviously i need to lower the defense of these guys because they've got five defense that's a bit haze crazy yeah lower it to two then maybe against these guys i'll use some re-rolls or something we got five that's very nice the routing then i can hopefully begin my ping pong yep there we go another model gone nice there we go Fortunately, oh no, luckily the giant is just out of range. Uh, the cat charges, that's very lucky. It's very lucky. Definitely wasn't expecting that. I was more expecting for the giant to kind of uh, be able to charge at least one bolt thrower. So the fact that he can't is, uh, in fact, very lucky for us. Yeah, what do I want to do? I'll activate a few on these guys. Simply because, yeah, we're fighting a goblin mob. Kind of don't have high hopes for the goblin mob. So, yep, they're gone. Yeah, the giant saved everything. But unfortunate. Very unfortunate indeed, and then I can... Can I shoot those guys? The boy does. Yes, I can. That's very nice. Hopefully get rid of them. And then that's a big headache gone. There we go. It's a big headache gone indeed. Turn these guys around because they have to go into the forest and either help again with the bolt throwers or help against the orc brutes, one of the two. Maybe I can move this guy to the side and continue avoiding. No, maybe I can't. No, unfortunately, no, I can't. I've been shooting this giant for, you know, forever now. And the fact that he's still here is just kind of sad at this point. Let's see how well we do over here. We should win. 
Like, come on, yeah, there we go. The rerolls really came in handy. Plus the additional power. And let's see, these guys should naturally lose because, yeah, it's just the ball riders. But still, you know, three skill. It's very, very possible that we lose a few rolls and it's kind of forced to endure, I guess. So, uh, consider charging those guys in the back because we kind of have to finish routing them off. They're a bit difficult and they use power. Yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, they can do that, but we can't do it ourselves. So, yeah, this is what it is. But, yeah, benefit of having uh, that guy, I guess, as your lord. Uh, yep, there we go. They're dead, really. Let's hope that these guys can deal with them. Nice, there we go, fully gone. Let's hope that these guys can be dealt with, and they go fully gone as well. And let's deal with these, you know, tr uh, you know, goblins, I guess. Nice, there we go, they're routing fully off the map. So then there's very few enemies left. Then let's see, back charge, yeah, these are all back charges, okay. Uh, charge this guy in the front. Yeah, it is what it is, there's nothing really to be done, I guess. You know, um, I can activate movement to hopefully get this guy out of the way, hopefully. Make some space for the, you know, trolls to move in. In the side, there we go. Side charging, nice. Uh, move, to, yeah, this unit up. Use the spell, primal fury. And that's that's it. That's pretty much it. There's nothing else to do. Let's see. Um, just barely losing to the giant. To be expected. It's a giant. I mean, the yeah, it's not going well for us, is it? Especially against the giant. And there they go. They're routing. Very nice. They got quite a good morale save as well. At three. So the fact that we're here is just kind of showing how good the enemies are. You know, or well, how luck-based everything is with the uh, orcs playing as the orcs because yeah, poor leadership, poor skill. But if you do get hits off, it's very strong. So yeah, very lucky that we didn't take any wounds there from the giant. So yeah, didn't take any unnecessary damage. Very very lucky. Keeps us going kind of. Let's level up real quick. Uh, additional gold unit size. I guess unit size for this unit. And yep, uh, the wounds, or, yeah, take the loot, because we've still got Act 2 to complete, so getting additional loot is more useful than having a few more wounds, just in case, yep, skill. We can actually hit the enemies, additional skill, yep, so that we can actually hit the enemies. Yeah, yep, plus four, I guess. And take money everywhere else, yep. So yeah, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!